What's going on guys? JD at JD's Custom Buggies. Um, wanted to talk real quick to you about um, wheels. And uh, one question that always comes up when people are looking for wheels or shopping for wheels, they'll see two wheels and with two different offset measurements and they don't know which one works for them. So to figure out which one works for you, I figure I'd explain the offset measurements. And this way, if you ever come into that dilemma or whatnot, or you can figure it out, even if you're buying a used wheel, you can take a tape measure, kind of figure this stuff out. Or if you're shopping on a website, whether it be mine or somewhere else, um, you guys can make the right purchase. So what I did was I went in my wheel room and grabbed two uh, ITP A6 Pro aluminum wheels and uh, wanted to kind of explain the whole offset deal. So these wheels are identical. They're both 10 by 5. All right, they both have a 110 lug pattern, same width, same dimension. What makes these wheels different from each other is the offset. Now, uh, being 10 by 5, one wheel is listed as a 2 plus 3 offset, and the other wheel is listed as a 3 plus 2 offset. So what's the difference? Well, when you look at the 2 plus 3 number or the 3 plus 2 number, the first number in that equation is the... Uh, the inside of the wheel, the dimension. And what we're measuring is the center line. So it's a five inch wheel and it's two plus three. So that means that there's two inches on the back side of the wheel, the part that faces your spindle and the buggy. And there's three inches um, on the outside of the wheel. And that's the part that you see as you're looking at the side of the buggy. On this one, because it's three plus two, it's the opposite. From the center line, okay, you got three inches towards the inside of the buggy two inches towards the outside of the buggy. So, that being said, because this has less backing, this is two plus three, and this one is three plus two, to put these on the same buggy, this wheel is gonna stick out an inch further um, and make the buggy basically wider. So if this center line was cut down the middle because it favors the outside as far as the offset goes, um, and this wheel was a two and a half plus two and a half, which they don't make that wheel. But some Chinese, like the Chinese buggies, will usually come with like a center line uh, offset. So it's dead, dead nut center. Um, if you had a wheel and you're replacing a wheel that had, did, was in the center, then this wheel would stick out an inch from that. This wheel would favor the inside of the buggy. So this is, if you're looking to widen the buggy, you're going to go with a two plus three because three inches is going to hang out the outside. If you're looking to narrow up the buggy, um, you go with the three plus two because you only got two inches of wheel on the outside. Now, how do you know what buggy works for what? You know, most people want wider. Why would you want to go narrower? Well, how I do it is this. When I'm doing a build or when I'm recommending to a customer, if you have a strut buggy, let's say it's a carter or a, um, a hammerhead or a trailmaster or something like that, you're probably going to want to go with the two plus three. And that's going to basically take the tire and put it further away from the cabin. And the reason I say that is because strut buggies, are, you know, the stuff is so close to the buggy already. Most people are afraid to put taller tires because they're afraid they're going to rub the, the cabin. So this would kind of cure that. So this will actually widen your buggy, all right, without having to put any spacers on it. Plus, with like a 22-inch tire, you'll actually be able to turn it and the tire will not rub, um, rub the cabin. All right. If you're buggy has wheels out in front of it. Let's say you're putting hubs on a Yerf Dog. Let's say you have a Crossfire um, or something, you know, a Candy, something with the wheels out in front, the A-arms are out in front, the wheels ain't kicked back. I would say go with the 3 plus 2. All right, this is what I use on my Yerf Dog. This is what I use on, on the wife's Crossfire. And the reason why is, at least when I'm building, you know, from a builder's perspective, I like the, I, I, um, as far as construction, control and when you're building something I like the fact that the spindle is inside the wheel um, and uh, by putting a three or a two plus three on there it, on a yurt dog it's just gonna be obnoxiously wide it's gonna be one of them looks where you'll see the complete spindle and then you'll have like a wheel outside of that whole thing and I kind of like um, with the wheels out in front type of style of buggy like a crossfire or something I like where the arms kind of go inside of the wheel. Um, and then there's that whole control point. I just feel when you're putting your wheels out there like that and you're developing a whole new steering system or the way that the 
steering system is on these buggies with the wheels out in front that this wheel actually works much better um, now this wheel would not work on a strut buggy um, it would basically your struts wouldn't even clear the tire all right the tires you get the wheel on and with the wheel alone it'll clear the strut but there's no way that the tire once the tire bulges out a little bit it's gonna be rubbing on your strut and that's why it's kind of necessary to have this wheel around if you have a strut buggy um, so I mean they both they both serve two different purposes as far as our applications go um, well, hopefully that helps you so just remember you're looking at an offset you see 2 plus 3 3 plus 2 the first number is the back side second number is the outside all right so uh, hopefully that helps you out I just wanted to, I didn't want to bore you to death with this but I figured it would help um, if you do need wheels by all means check out gotbuggies.com um, we do sell ITP wheels uh, steel and aluminum and we're actually going to be picking up a couple other uh, I'm looking right now at picking up a whole other line of wheel um, if uh, but if you know you're shopping elsewhere if you're buying a used wheel you want to take a tape measure out kind of figure out if that works for you all you got to do is basically flip the wheel you know back side of the wheel over take a tape measure kind of eyeball the lip you know especially if you know it's a 10 by 5 and then you know check the other side and you can kind of figure out your own offset right there um, so if this helps you and you like what you're seeing please give it a like if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section and uh, by all means if you have a buggy and you like what you're seeing subscribe I'm gonna try and uh, keep it filled with useful information stuff I've learned over the years um, we are giving away a CBT system soon so uh, if you haven't subscribed yet you're gonna want to um, we're gonna be doing some t-shirts and stuff like that and that's gonna be coming I think I've already announced um, uh, within hopefully in the next week and a half two weeks we're gonna be doing that because I have the stuff I'm just itching to give it away I uh, just got to figure out this whole YouTube thing's a little new to me and I just have to figure out a good clean fun fair way to give it away um, so working on that right now but uh, thanks for checking in and we'll talk to you guys later thanks a lot